channel. Welcome to the vlog. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. My name is Tiara, and today is going to be a full work day. Um, not so much filming a lot of my day of work just because I am clocked in. Well, not right now. Um, I haven't started work yet, but um, I woke up this morning. I made my bed. We actually have some of our sheets and comforter washing right now so I didn't fully make up the bed as you guys saw I got dressed I have this super cute outfit on um I don't know if you can really see it because like the lighting I'll show you guys um in a little bit of what my work from home outfit is today but it's a really cute outfit I got from TikTok shop and it's so cute you guys <laughs> but anyways today's work from home vlog is going to be more uh just some like tips that I have I've been working from home consistently for two years now and I do have a lot of things that I wish I would have started when I first started working from home and things that I may want to change now so but just some tips for you guys who are currently working from home or or are going to start working from home and how you can have that balanced work from home life and really really be able to um, be productive working from home and just some things that are helpful if you guys are by yourselves all day I, my partner, he does live, live, he does work outside of the home and so he leaves for work every single morning and so it's just me here all by myself and then when I get off work, um, I'm also at home. So having that work-life balance and I think grounding yourself and just trying to get outside and get some fresh air because when you work from home, you're home all day. You don't get to clock out, drive and get in your car and drive and come home your home all day and so sometimes it's not the best for people but for me it has really worked well and I think that some of the things that I incorporate throughout my work day is very helpful and it allows me to really enjoy working from home so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some coffee because that just really starts my day and it kind of like signifies okay work is about to start let's grab our coffee and let's do the thing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make our coffee. snuggled with my cat but one tip for you guys when you're working from home and it's your morning time you're in your morning routine before you clock in something that makes me happy is coming downstairs and opening up my blinds I have the sliding door and so I do open that sometimes when it's nice and cool in the morning time also right now I love coming downstairs and just looking at my tree and the presents and just all of my Christmas decor and it just brings happiness and it's just like oh my gosh like it's just it just brings me happiness so definitely do something in your morning routine i would say that brings you happiness or that kind of wakes you up in the morning time and for me that's opening all of the curtains all of the blinds all of the windows whatever i can open i will and it just brightens the room and it makes me feel more awake um and so i do that every single morning like i there is not a morning that I don't come downstairs and open my blinds and my sliding door. Um, I only open my sliding door if it's cool outside. Right now it is cool, so I did open it. It's actually really cold. Um, but it just brings in some nice fresh air in the morning time. Just do what you think is going to wake you up in the morning um, and try to stick with it. Because it's really important when it comes to routine and morning routines. Every day is going to be a little bit different, right? We're all not robots. Like We can't function the same every single day especially like our attitude just how we wake up so it's important to try to stick with those little things that you know you can control and continue that on a daily basis and for me that's making coffee or matcha 
um, iced coffee, just having that morning drink, it just, it makes for a better day. It really does. So we're going to go upstairs. We're going to light a candle. And sometimes I do put on some music on my Alexa. Um, and we're going to start a work day. I usually will start writing down a to-do list for my work day. So we're going to do that, work for a little bit, and then we'll be on our break. writing down my to-do list for the day and that would be like another tip that I have for working from home is to write a to-do list because if not your brain can get scattered you may forget something for me I have this um, to-do list that I got from Amazon it has the date for today your three top priorities for tomorrow don't forget notes and then it has like a long list of things you can just write down and then cross off your list it's very important, especially for me, to write my to-do list because I have to follow up with members on certain things and I don't want to forget anyone. And it makes all of the um, things I have to do that's like in my head on paper and, I, and my brain doesn't feel so cluttered throughout the day because I'm always adding stuff on my to-do list. So I definitely would recommend writing a to-do list for what you have to do for that day for your job and as well as if you have a planner i do have a planner for my personal life i don't write in it as much as i would like to um and so i think i'm gonna start getting back into like uh planning and using my stickers and my planner but definitely <laughs> my cat is attacking me <laughs> why are you attacking me but definitely write a to-do list um when you start your day so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead work for a little bit and I will see you guys on my break. Okay, so it's actually a little bit later in the day. It is 11 o'clock and I am going on my break. Um, well, I am on my break right now, my designated work break. And one thing that I do, I love to do this every single day, if I can. I can't always do it my first break because it's raining or it's super cold. So I like to get outside. That's another tip to be productive is to just step away from your desk for a couple minutes on your designated work break, get out of your office, wherever you're currently working, if it's at your table, on the couch, get out of the room. <laughs> and either go do something productive around the house. For me, I like to go on a quick walk. So I usually just go down the sidewalk and come back. I get some fresh air and it kind of breaks up the day a little bit as well. It is a little chilly outside, but it's fine. I haven't been outside yesterday at all because it was just raining all day here in Daytona. So I'm gonna get outside, get some fresh air, and then we're gonna come back and make breakfast. I am back inside now and I'm about to actually have two eggs boiling. So that's what I'm gonna eat for breakfast and some toast here. And just like another tip for working from home is to make sure you have like a good breakfast, right? Eat breakfast. It's gonna make you have energy throughout the day. It's gonna make you feel well. Um, overall, it's gonna make you feel good. You know, like nobody wants to work on an empty, empty stomach. So it's gonna make you have energy. It's gonna make you feel good. And who doesn't love breakfast, you know? I have had my coffee and I'm just um, making toast. We actually keep our bread frozen in the freezer. Um, it is already sliced and we keep it that way so it doesn't go bad quickly. And we just take a slice out at a time whenever we're using it. And honestly, like it, th it thaws out pretty quickly, but I'm gonna stick this in the toaster once it's thawed out a little bit. So we're gonna make our breakfast. We're going to work for the next hour and a half to two hours, and then we'll be all ready for lunch. Also, while my breakfast is cooking on the stove and I'm still on my break, I wanted to show you guys my work from home outfit today. 
it's all about coziness i got this set from tiktok shop and honestly you guys i'm like obsessed it's so cute it has like really like a really cute pattern here it's long sleeve and it's like separate it's like separate the shorts are a little big on me like on the waist at least so you can either like fold them like this i just kind of left them to be honest with you i like the looser feeling um and then i just have some socks on so that is the workout outfit workout that is the work from home outfit today very cozy but still cute and that's probably another tip i would give working from home is to get dressed because if you're working in your pajamas, you don't feel like you're in your work mode. You don't go to work if you're working outside of your home in your pajamas, right? So why would you do it working from home, even though you can, but transitioning into whether it's like a workout set or just like a lounge set like mine or just anything other than your pajamas, you're gonna feel better about your day. And honestly, it does improve productivity because you're transitioning from your home life, of waking up in your morning routine into your work life. And it, it seems like, like you're getting ready for the day. Um, so I definitely would, if, not, if you don't take anything away from any tips today, it is to just at least get dressed because it's just like, you're getting ready for the day, right? Like you don't wanna, I don't know i feel like if i'm working out or if i'm working in my pajamas like i'm gonna be lazy and i'm gonna want to sit on the couch or work in my bed so i automatically think about comfort and like laying down when i think about pajamas and so i don't want to think about that i want to be in a good work mode i want to have good productivity and i want to look good while working while working from home so that's definitely a really good tip for you guys but let's eat our breakfast and then we'll work for a little bit and then head to lunch. two boiled eggs and toast with butter and everything but the bagel seasoning and I have salt and pepper on the side for my eggs. I am on my lunch break and I'm actually headed to Chick-fil-A. I think I'm just gonna get the fries and their chicken strips this time to see how their strips are. So I'll show you guys what I got from Chick-fil-A when I come back. I am back from Chick-fil-A and I got a small fry. And this time I decided to try their chicken strips. Oh my God, those are so tiny. <laughs> I've had them before and they were much longer than this, but I've only had them one other time. and. I wasn't like a huge fan of them, but I just wanted to give them another try and they look really good actually. And I got honey mustard to go with it and some pollination sauce. So that is my lunch and I have about 10 minutes left of my lunch break. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this and then we will finish off the workday. of hours and I'm on my last designated work break of the day um, it is around three o'clock ish another tip that I have for you is that is if you're working from home is to have a dedicated workspace I would say and just me sitting here in my office I'm able to focus and not have to have anything in my surroundings kind of like um, distract me so definitely having a dedicated workspace I'm lucky enough to have my own home office. If you guys are new here, I am in lending and I am a lending specialist. I do work for a local credit union um, and I work from home and I go into the office one day a week. But um, 
me working from home, it's very important for me to have my own space that I can work in, that I can feel productive in. Um, and for me, I do have my own home office. It's a little messy, but I will show you guys my office um, if you guys are new here. So it's pretty nice. It's pretty big. It's a whole bedroom. Um, this over here, we're just going to pretend that's not there right now. Um, I was cleaning over the weekend, just doing some stuff, and I kind of threw a lot of stuff in a pile there. So I really need to go through and just kind of clean that, which I may do this afternoon. Um, this is my desk. It is from Ikea. It is an L-shaped desk, so it's really nice. I'm just not showing you the screen because my jobs logo is on there. Um, but it is a very nice desk. Um, in front of my desk, I do have another desk here. This was actually originally my desk, but there was just not enough space for two monitors and a laptop. Uh, keyboard room for to write and just additional things I like on my desk so now this is my vanity I sit here and I do with my makeup which we're not even going to get into that makeup drawer and that's just extra office supplies but this is my workspace here I do try to keep it as clean as I can I also have a nice window and a door here that leads out to our nice balcony and then I have a bathroom in here which I also need to come in and clean but I'll just give you like an overview from this angle so you can see how it's a nice space I would definitely say pick somewhere if you don't have your own dedic if you don't have your own office you don't need that where you can work at the kitchen table but just set up something to make yourself feel more productive and feel like you kind of have your own workspace or desk <music> work we went for a bike ride and I am inside now hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for my work day now I'm about to go ahead and clean out the fridge because it's really needed there's stuff in there that needs to be thrown away and just reorganized so let's do it <music> Here. I'm trying to get everything I needed to get done by like seven o'clock um, so I'm just in here in my home office um, still drinking my wine <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and straighten up my office specifically the desk in the chair just because it is a little messy and I do like to wake up and come in here and work in a clean environment so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, and yeah Cheers to being productive. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying my video. Um, if you guys are new here, thank you so much for being here. Hopefully you are subscribed or will subscribe and let's get on to cleaning the office. Thank you. 
going to cook dinner. We are having roasted broccoli. We have rice cooking in the rice cooker. And then I'm gonna slice up this smoked sausage with some onions. I'm gonna saute that and that will be our dinner. So I'm putting this in the oven now. This usually takes longer to cook. Um, and so dinner is gonna be delicious. I'm gonna have a little bit of wine left. shower and about to do my skincare I just washed my face and it's probably a little after nine um, I'm using the earthen escapes brand for all of my skincare tonight and so I am already washed my face now I'm just going in with the toner and I swear by this stuff I'll put a link down to her website below um, her products really good reason Just go in with the toner, with a cotton round, and put that on first. Then after that, I go in with the dark spot corrector. And I just put like a little bit on, just a little bit. My finger, and I rub. And this actually targets the dark spots, if you guys are trying to get rid of any dark spots on your face. I know my camera is crooked, but that's how it is. I've used this before, like this specifically, um, just to get rid of dark spots, and it completely took them away, so I know they work. Then I go on with the Green Tea Facial Moisturizer. And I have the one for dry skin. And honestly, you really just need a little bit because a little bit goes a long way when it comes to the moisturizer. So just kind of put that all over my face. I tend to get like really dry skin. Um, Especially at night. That is my skincare. I have like a Burt's Bees lip balm that I put on at night time, but I can't find it. So I'm going to go in with this Fix My Skin Hydrocortisone Healing Balm. I've had this forever. And it works. Then my very last 
step in my skincare routine is the Burt's Bees Hand and Cream um, Lotion. So I just put a little bit on my hand and then I just rub it in. And it makes my hands like so soft and it smells delicious. And that is all I do for my skincare. Um, I have some makeup under my eye that I really didn't get good, but that's fine. That is the end of today's video. I'm about to go finish reading a couple of chapters in my book and then head to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Take care.